It's been a while since I've gotten to take a look at the Oculus Rift, but now I'm back to find out more. What have you guys improved on over the last few months? So we've actually gotten to the, to the point where it's in production. Units are starting to ship out right now. Um, we've got the whole thing, all of the hardware locked down and finalized. Our SDK is also really well built out. So we've been working with Unity to integrate support into their Unity engine. We just released uh, an update for UDK. It's a custom version of UDK that provides Rift support. Valve has Team Fortress 2 running, so they've integrated our SDK with the Source Engine. Just a lot of really great things going around on the software front. Last time we saw you guys, we saw the Epic Citadel, but now you guys are running games like Hawking. These are like full-fledged games. What has been the feedback from people who have actually gotten to see it in action? So people have had really good feedback. Uh, today we're showing off Hawken, Team Fortress 2, and a racing game that we created that we called Drive VR. It's really exciting to see how compelling of an experience these can be at such an early stage. What makes the Oculus Rift work as well as it does? Technology, I mean, technology has advanced a lot further than it has in the past. There's not many virtual reality devices in the present. Most of them have been in the past when technology wasn't ready. We didn't have high resolution screens, we didn't have cheap precision motion tracking, and we didn't have graphics horsepower that was able to render high realism scenes at high frame rates in stereo 3D. We have all those things today. So why is it important to get the word out and hear the feedback from people? It's really important for us because these are developer kits that we're putting out right now. And so we want to get them to the people who can make great VR games. And we think that indie games are going to be a real driving force for virtual reality because these are people who are making games because they want to make great games, not necessarily because they have to see a huge return on their investment.